Erica, the Furry Family Coach, and in this video, we're going to talk about how to condition your dog to wear a harness. And this is the harness that my dog currently wears, and I really want you to stick around to the end of this video because after I show you how we're going to condition our dogs to accept wearing a harness, I'm going to tell you why this is my favorite harness. Jessica here and like I said in this video we're going to talk about conditioning our dog to wear a harness. Now I'm doing this video because I have had multiple people over the past couple of weeks in the Facebook group. If you're not part of the Facebook group already I will put a link um, in the description of this video so you can go ahead and join the family there. Um, but I've had multiple people contact me over the past couple of weeks saying that they got the harness that I suggested because I am a huge proponent of harnesses. I like collars, they're cool, they're fashionable. I like um, different designs that you can have on collars, but I will never ever attach a leash to a collar. There is way too much damage that can be done to your dog's neck. Um, and yes, this applies to little dogs in particular, but it really can apply to every dog out there. It doesn't matter how big or small your dog is. Um, at some point your dog is going to pull on the leash and they're going to harm their throat in some way, shape, or form. So, yes, I tell everyone, um, never attach a leash to a collar. We want to use a harness for that. So many different reasons. Of course, what I just told you about harming the dog's neck, but also you have so much more control. Um, so let's get into how we're going to condition our dog to accept wearing a harness. So just like anything else, we're going to use positive reinforcement to get our dogs accustomed to a harness. If they have never seen a harness before, you've just bought one, here's what I want you to do. We're just going to put the harness on the ground and we're gonna, yay, we're gonna reward interest in the harness. Now, if your dog has no idea what a harness is, they may not walk up to it initially. This is Kim's harness. She's used to it, so she understands uh, what, what it is. She knows that it means, oh, we're going for a walk, we're going for a drive, we're going somewhere. She loves that idea. So, of course, she's going to come up to it and sniff it. Um, anytime your dog walks up to it and sniffs it, reward them. Give them little treats. Give them lots of love and praise. And don't force it over their head or over their legs, have whatever kind of harness you get. Don't force it on their body. Um, that's going to, it's going to provide a negative association with the harness. And we don't want to do that. We want positive associations with the harness. So once your dog has gone to the harness on the ground, sniffed it, you've rewarded them for doing that a couple of times, then we're going to take the harness in our hand and see once our dog comes up to the harness in our hand, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to give them rewards, we're going to give them treats, we're going to give them love and praise. Alright, so now that your dog has a positive association with just the, the peace being in the house, what we're going to do is take our training treats and depending on how your harness is actually going to go on your dog, this one uh, goes over her, over her head, over her face, around her neck. What we're going to do is take our training treats and get her used to the idea of me holding this up to her face. Good girl. I'm not going to put it over her head right away. That might freak her out. So I'm going to get her used to the idea of me holding the harness in this position, going to actually put it on her. All right, so, so we've got our harness, we've got our dog, we've got our training treat. Don't want to push them too fast, but let them kind of go at their own pace, see how they accept it. So we're just building up a positive association with the harness and with us putting the harness on their body. There we go! Yay! Yay! Alright, come on. Oh, 
That's my girl. That is my good girl. So now we're just going to finish putting the harness on. You ready? Yay! We have the harness on. So just remember, just take baby steps with your dog. Make sure to reward. Make sure to create positive associations with the harness. All right, so now that I have shown you how to acclimate your dog to getting a new harness on, um, I want to tell you why this Rough Wear harness is my absolute favorite harness. Um, it is very well built. It is adjustable. You can buy it in all different sizes. This one happens to be an extra small. It fits Kim perfectly. She's about a 15 pound dog. But the reason that I absolutely love this harness is because when you have it on, and I'll put it together. When you have it on your dog, you have your regular back clip attachment for your leash, which is what we use most of the time. But the reason that I really love this is because you also have this front clip here. And it's pretty sturdy, pretty durable, um, really well sewn on. The reason why I love this is for training. Sometimes we need that little extra oomph when we're training. When we have a dog that pulls or we have a dog that lunges, what is going to happen is when you're training, if you attach to the leash or one of your leashes, um, sometimes we train with two leashes, one attached to each. When you're training, you attach your leash to this front clip, which is going to be right here on the chest of your dog. When they lunge or when they pull, it's going to turn their body, depending on what side you're on, um, it's going to turn their body in the direction of that leash. So instead of going towards whatever it is they're jumping or lunging at, it's going to pull their body back around towards you, which is your goal in that situation is to redirect your dog's attention back to you and away from whatever it has gotten their attention, right? So what you want to do is to redirect their attention to you and this helps so much by having that front clip harness. What's going to happen is just through physics, it's going to turn their body back around towards you, redirecting their attention onto you. And then you have that opportunity to say, hey, yes, pay attention to me. I am so much more interesting than whatever it was you were jumping or lunging at. I am so much more interesting. Pay attention to me. We're going to work on this. We're going to maybe turn around and go a different direction. We're going we're gonna to work on this pulling problem. So this is why this harness is my absolute favorite. And I'll give you a link in the description of the video. And if you have any questions about how to acclimate your dog to anything new, a harness, a collar, a leash, anything, um, please leave me a note below. I will answer it to the best of my ability. Um, again, if you haven't already joined the Train Positive group, please go ahead and do that. I'm going to put a link in the description of the video. If you found this video useful, please give it a big thumbs up and share it with your friends and family. And if you haven't already subscribed to my YouTube channel, please go ahead and do so. Click that subscribe button and never miss another dog training video. With that, I will see you in the next video.